two boilers. That one does the hot water and radiators. And this one does the underfloor heating. There's two manifolds in this system. And we've been called out today because pressure's dropped. And this pump has run dry. And obviously got really hot and deformed the unions and it's peeing out top and bottom as you can see down there now if you try to repressurize it but the thing is for this the boilers have no uh, pressure switch in them so the boiler was actually still trying to run it's got a thermistor in it to try and switch it off this pump was obviously still trying to run this pump was trying to run so it was all making a lot of noise up here so it could end up all because there's no way of um, switching this off if it's low pressure you could end up damaging this boiler this pump this boiler this pump and um, so we're going to replace the pump and the valves and i'm also going to tee in and stick a hydrostat in um, which will switch it all off if the water pressure drops below a set level This is why I don't recommend plastic filters anymore. Just let's see the thread on that. So I'd rather use a um, brass filter with brass threads. Okay, so we're back up and running take the magna cleanse filter out there because it was uh, in a bad shape and the uh, threads were all pretty much shot fitted the new pump um, better isolation valves I put an isolation valve in there so that I can isolate both of these and put a combined filter deaerator in there because the system is a bit noisy with air and I've cut a valve in here for the hydrostat which is linked into this pipe work so if the pressure drops again you will have it so it shuts the whole boiler off we are going to have to have a look at maybe changing something with this pump setup because the flow rate through this pump exceeds the permitted flow rate for this boiler so that's not going to do the boiler any good so we're going to possibly fit a low loss header here uh, with a distribution pump and a shunt pump um, I need to speak to the client about that. Um, this one is actually on a different system and again it could probably do with the hydrostat being fitted. It's not a very nice installation. So what's happened, the condensate trap here has blocked up with this which is the inside of this heat exchanger and uh, water's backed up and once the water gets up to here this will shut the boiler off okay so here's a good example of what i'm talking about this is the heat exchanger on the other boiler and as you can see it's all smooth and if i pan around to this one you can see really the lines 